Good morning, everybody. It is only quarter to seven, so it's a little bit dark, but you're going to get to see it brighten up just like yesterday. This morning, I am having some roasted potatoes that I made and some pakoras that we bought last night at the Big Carrot, some tamarind sauce that came with the pakoras, and some honey crisp apple. Cheers, queers. Happy Sunday. It is supposed to be some ridiculous temperature like today, I said. Mm. But it's supposed to be raining. Hmm. Can you hear the rain? It's only light, but it is raining. I actually think I really like these glasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we went to Dollarama yesterday. We actually went to Dollar Tree first. We have two of them. <laughs> At Coxwell and Gerard. Literally like... A couple steps away from each other. It's weird. But, whatever. I actually really like Dollar Tree. For the sheer fact that everything in there is a dollar twenty-five. When you go to Dollarama, it used to be that everything was a dollar. And then they started doing two dollars. And that wasn't so bad either. <laughs> but now they have stuff that's up to $5. Now, don't get me wrong, you get what you pay for. But I really like shopping at the dollar stores. Their kitchenwares are actually really good. I'm pretty sure most of our kitchenwares are from there. They're baking wares. They sell the Betty Crocker brand, and I actually like it. And, like, 
school supplies, pens, and all of that. You can get them. Now, obviously, you need to pay attention. <laughs> Whoop. That was funny. I hit the phone. Just some things you're going to get in a regular store better. So we have on that one corner, we have Dollar Tree, Dollarama, and No Frills. So say for canned food, for instance. In Dollar Tree, it would be a dollar twenty-five. I'm still tired. In Dollarama, it could be anywhere from... I think we saw something for 87 cents. Um, like at the candy counter near the front to $5. <clears throat> now, I actually went to buy some stuff for St. Patrick's Day. I did buy some stuff. I will say that their seasonal stuff is on point. Like, it's crazy how much stuff that they get in for Christmas. Valentine's, Easter, Canada Day, um, Thanksgiving, all of those things. St. Patrick's Day, they had a, a little bit, but it's late, so it probably would have been better to go, like, maybe two weeks ago. Their party stuff, like plates, napkins, um, decorations for parties, balloons, streamers, all that. Always have that. Great place to buy cards. Dishes, Tupperware. Like I said, kitchenwares and all that is great. Spices, fabulous. Um, some of the, like, um, like, house repair stuff. So, I don't know, like, nails, tape, all of that. Uh, excuse me. It's okay to buy there, but that's definitely one of those things where you might want to buy the the better stuff. Because, you know, you don't want your house falling apart. <laughs> so the potatoes I made, super simple to make. Um, they kind of remind me of the ones that you get from the Greek restaurants, except I didn't have any oregano. So I do like adding oregano in them, but I put a little bit of oil, a little bit of vegan basil margarine, um, salt and pepper, tomato, uh, like strained tomatoes, a little bit of water, 
the chopped up potatoes, onions, and I don't even think I put garlic. I'm trying to be a little bit mindful of the garlic because Axel's getting acid reflux. So he's on special medicine for it. So I'm trying to not use as much garlic and see if it will help too. It's seven o'clock. <laughs> I totally just realized that I have my shirt inside out. <laughs> Rubber. <laughs> That's what happens when you get dressed for bed in the dark. I'm not dressed for bed when you wake up and it's still dark and you're getting dressed to do a video that's kind of funny who cares that's just me Kind of reminds me of when Axel was younger. We used to go to the dropping center. Um, I think back then it was called just the Thorncliff Drop-In Center. Now it's an early years center, which is amazing. Ontario early years. And it used to be in this hut kind of in the schoolyard but now it's also graduated over to a space in the mall I can't tell you how much we loved that drop-in center we were there every single day that it was open Mm -mm. Shada, the lady who ran that one, was like everybody's grandma, which was amazing. So loving and accepting, and biggest cheerleader for anybody, or biggest let you cry on her shoulder person like she was just beautiful so soft-spoken oh my gosh I loved her so much she had such an influence on us and we left there when Axel was only three that when he was a teenager, I actually looked her up and found her. Connected with her. Found out where she was living. Not the exact address, but like the street she was on now. I really need to see if she's still um living there. I can't remember where she was from. But 
but I'm pretty sure it was part of East Asia. I used to take care of this little boy. His name was Steven. Oh my gosh, he was so cute. Oh. Hmm. I wish I could get back together with these people. I don't remember his parents' names. But I remember his name. And he couldn't say helicopter, so he used to say hop attractor. It was so cute. <laughs> then I had two sisters, Nisha and Tura. I want to say their mom's name was Annette, but I'm probably wrong. I've loved babysitting all of these years. I'm still in touch with my very, very, very first nannying gig that I had when I was, uh, it was full time. I was 19 when I started. She's so sweet. I keep in touch with her parents. I keep in touch with her. The parents are Paul and Lynn, and the little girl's name, who's now grown, is Sally. She had corkscrew curly hair, and she was just a bundle of energy. Oh my gosh, she was so sweet. Now she lives in the west coast of Canada. Um, she's doing so beautifully. We're friends on Facebook. <laughs> How adorable is that? So I babysat her from about... I started when she was quite young. I want to say 18 months. Something like that. And I was there for quite a while. But then her parents wanted to put her in an organized daycare so she could have more interaction. Totally cool. But we've still kept in touch all these years. I love it. Anyway, our trip to Dollarama, back to that. So I bought my St. Patrick's Day stuff and just a few little things. Day 238 today. And then we were on the bus going back home and I said to Axel, do you want to go to the Big Carrot? He's like, mm, sure. <laughs> I wanted ice cream. So he asked if we could get ice cream bars instead. I said, sure. And that's kind of nice to you to get the bars because uh, it's, excuse me, it's a controlled portion. And there's four in there, so we get two each. So it's perfect. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> So as you can see, 
I sound a lot better today. <laughs> Not nasally. I haven't had my shower yet. So once I do all of this congestion and crap will go away. Hopefully. Anyway, we went to the Big Carrot for ice cream bars. We at least did get the ice cream bars. But then, you know, it's like one of our <coughs> favorite stores. Sorry, excuse me. So, <laughs> I walked out with um, $65 worth of stuff. I bought vegan jerky. The name is Noble. The brand is Noble. I got the barbecue, sweet barbecue one. But it is spicy. Oh, it's a good spicy though. I bought chocolate vanilla popcorn. It's, it's okay. But I prefer Bad Monkey. Um, what else did I get? I got the Pecoras. I got us a day of pizza. We had that for, for part of our dinner last night. Um, yesterday was a really big eating day for me. Didn't binge or anything like that. I just ate a lot of stuff. Oh, excuse me. But only little bits of it, which is nice. Just a, a variety of stuff. So, um, for dinner I had half of the pizza. That sounds like a lot, but they're like smaller pizzas, the day of frozen's. So we cut it in half and then I cut that half into three slices. Um, Axel has half and I have half. It's not like, um, a pizza that you order from the store. It's like a personal pan pizza. Maybe a little bit, <coughs> a little bit bigger than that. <coughs> but anyway, excuse me. And then I had spinach salad with, um, some hummus. And I had the vegan jerky, about maybe four pieces of that, but they're small like this. I had an ice cream bar. I had a little bit of the chocolate vanilla popcorn. So it was kind of a mix and match day, but it was so good. Um, and then I'm proud of myself that I didn't eat all of the stuff that I bought. Because like I said before, that's what I would have done. So I have a ton of it left. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm so dry today. Um, and then Axel <laughs> bought, um, he bought himself a book from the dollar store. Um, something about horoscopes or something like that. <sighs> Whatever. And then, I can't remember the name of it. And then, um, he bought... Some sweets from the earth treats. And as we were about to leave, he sees the smart sweets, which is like um, <coughs> little jellies. And he ended up getting two packs of those. They were on sale. And then I saw the milkless chocolate. This stuff is so good. And it was buy one bag, get one free. Individually wrapped chocolate bars. And they're only little minis like like that you get for the kids at Halloween coming door to door. Um, so it was $12 a bag, but it was buy one, get one free. So he ended up buying them. Two bags of those. So they're sitting in the freezer. I haven't even opened them yet. Yay me! So even though I, I kind of sometimes get down on myself that I haven't cut out certain things, I'm also super proud of myself for how far I've come. I would never, ever have been able to say the next day that I have treats from the day before. Mm -mm. <sighs> and I have come to the conclusion that if I decide when I'm ready to cut sugar out, <sighs> that I don't need to change my days of abstinence because I'm still abstinent from my, um, why I'm doing this whole thing is because I used to binge all the time. So I want to get a healthy relationship with food and be able to eat whatever the heck normal is. So 
And what I'm going to do is have my days of abstinence, which right now, today, once I get past today, it will be 238 days. So I am officially 237 days abstinent from binge eating. What? That's amazing to me. Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> it's very overwhelming to say that number. And then when I cut sugar out, which I'm slowly getting to, then I will start the days of sugar free. Right? So I was really fighting the, um, inner voices in my head, of course, that were telling me that maybe I should start my count day over. And while that might work for some people, for me, it's just not, um, gifting myself with my current days of abstinence from binge eating. So there you go. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <clears throat> I did upload a crochet video, so I know Jennifer watched it, but I'm hoping that some other people will watch it. And uh, I'm going to be doing that way more often because it's so relaxing to me. And it's kind of funny that that's the first thing that she said was that it was relaxing to watch. I like putting on like a fireplace channel or <clears throat> some classical music or sometimes just my music. Sorry, itchy foot. <laughs> and um, I can sit and crochet for hours. I love it so much. So let me show you where I am now. Because I actually went... <clears throat> I did more. Da -da, da -da -da. So I might actually sit this morning and turn the camera on and crochet a little bit. So that's it for now, friends. I hope you have a lovely Sunday. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to my new subscribers. And thank you to the ones who have been sticking around forever. I love you all so much. Thanks for being a part of my life. Um, hit the notification bell so that you know when I put up a new video. Bye, everyone. Love you.